Right. We are very short on time. We're going to try to set all the goals we've set, which are meet all the goals we've set, which are very ambitious. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to all the groups. Everything seems to have worked properly. If Nina agrees, I would like to give the floor for maximum one minute to two representatives of each of the working groups. Not so much to explain the debate as a whole, but rather to give us one sentence by way of conclusion. So with no further ado, if everything's working properly, the group on society, who was in that? Open the floor for two per para dos personas. For two people. Either Amen or David. Raise their hands. They can raise their hands. Amen. 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 You are the floor, please. Amen. Please speak. Your floor is open. Speak. Speak the button. Okay. There he is. Okay. It's fine. For the conclusion, please. Amen. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Fine. So, yeah, I think there was a mistake with the breakouts, so I wasn't actually, we didn't have the second society breakout room, so I, I will pass quickly to Davy or Lydia, who were hosting the other breakout group. Davy first. He's not connected. So. No? Okay. Lydia, Lydia, please. Okay, then uh, I hope Davy will be able to uh, jump in. Uh, we were discussing mostly about these three theses, uh, four, uh, five, and six, and uh, I think that uh, uh, what we discussed about four and five was uh, quite clear about why is collective action uh, needed and uh, about values. The problem was with the uh, six thesis because it was really not clear to many participants what really uh, does it mean. So um, I uh, the proposal would be to make uh, this thesis a little bit more clear that everybody could understand uh, what is uh, talking about uh, because not all understand these uh, expressions in English or uh, systematic uh, change uh, principles and so on. So that would be a kind of recommendation from our group. But the discussion was really vivid and uh, people were interested and uh, would continue to, to speak further. We uh, mentioned also skills needed for uh, this collective act, act actions and uh, uh, diverse thinking, not in silos, but um, uh, more holistic and so on. I will stop here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. You can continue working because we've worked on these subjects beyond this meeting. Eamon, I'll give you the floor. David, David Philip. Press the button, speak. He's not here. No. Bueno, avanzamos.
OK, let's move on. We'll go to the next group. Politics, please. Isabel. Isabel, yeah, is the boot on your floor. Thank you. Thank you. So we uh, picked thesis seven. Shall I read out to you? Why do we need a strong connect between local and European levels of governance, also in the form of binding local and bioregional plans for socio ecological transformation. So we talked about the division between urban and rural, the need to embolden and organize civil society, but also the need for uh, governance at whatever level to become braver at trusting civil society and its ability to propose policy um, and not just propose policy, but also be resourced to take action. Uh, we looked at the need for ongoing learning, learning in civil society as to how to organize and how to take action. We um, were reminded by Ana Margarita Esteva about the, um, the power that comes from civil society groups of whatever kind connecting across national boundaries and forming alliances in such a way that they raise their profile and embolden municipalities and governance in order to take action. And um, I'm sure there are things I've left out. So if anyone, if anyone wants to add something in, please put your hand up. Uh, no other participants in No? Sí, ha habido, sí, ha habido otros there were two participants, but they don't, they're not going to both take the floor. Mm -hmm. And ecology is at Flem. At Flem? Mm -hmm. Okay. At, please. Hello. Hello. Hello, it's fine. Okay, um, I, I can't see myself, but uh, you can hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, in one sentence, there are people in each bioregion that feel themselves to be stewards of that bioregion, and they should be supported by the EU and given some kind of power like the Natura 2000s uh, have already uh, been done by the EU. That's it. Thank you. Thank you for the short conclusion. I'm very important. Uh, economy. No, no? I, I also have, uh, I'm from Me, the other gra breakout room the on order. ecology. <laughs> and uh, yes, so there we go. So we basically had three major points in our discussion. Uh, the first one was on redefining human nature relationships from relationships of dominance and where we as humans try to modify nature in order to serve our interests, to change that to be a, in a relationship of stewardship with each other, where we also take into account the interests of nature and be more humble in our relationships with nature and modify our own behavior rather than just trying to modify nature in itself. And then the second point is, well, how can we get to implement these kind of human nature relationships, this new behavior, we need to have models and we need to have policy structures through which we can actually then implement these models. And though in that context, the local development strategies of the local action groups are mentioned as a key uh, framework where bottom-up action can be uh, followed through with. And uh, the last point was to grant legal rights to nature. Amelie. Emily, one, one, one sentence, please. <laughs> Sula, please. Uh, thank you. Um, just a short comment uh, uh, for the for the second point. Uh, uh, what uh, what about we uh, discuss in our group? Uh, Bioregional uh, transformative development should be a conclusion choice of uh, regions. Um, understanding that uh, fact the change is needed and it can be delivered uh, most effectively, effectively uh, when everybody is on board. It, uh, it should be a cooperation uh, within uh, the community and with uh, other communities, keeping in mind uh, the interdependence with nature. It's uh, very important because uh, first and foremost, we should remind ourselves uh, that we are an integral part of uh, the ecosystems and as such completely depend on them. 
Thank you. Perfect. And uh, last, economy. Two minutes for Mickey for the sentence. And after, uh, después haremos una, abriremos. And then we'll have, we'll have five minutes left. We can have some more speakers. Yes, thank you. Uh, what is important is that we involve people in regions. And uh, the few needs to be on the long term. And it's about the well-being of people as a part of nature. That's our basic. We had a very small group uh, of two people, but that's our conclusion in the moment. Thank you. Buen trabajo en ese grupo. Very good work in this group. Congratulations. We have no more than three to five minutes left to open the floor for any final comments for those who haven't yet spoken. And then we will have the concluding session. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, Chair. I thought I was the rapporteur for economy, but, uh, but anyway, uh, I, I noted the sentence. We were uh, more than two persons. We were quite a lot. <laughs> But I will read the sentence anyway, just to be to be sure, and because we have worked. Uh, so, <clears throat> understanding which kind of well-being is needed for the future of our planet, new metrics for well-being should be synergical with the Porto Declaration. Put the collective interest in the center of the financial system to have sustainable finance. Promote local solution alongside with supporting a new Bretton Woods conference or movement for civil society in full complementarity with COP and ensuring complementarity between SDGs and new well-being indica indicators which are clearly needed. So this is the sentence. Uh, if there some of my colleagues wants to, uh, to add something or to comment, uh, it was quite a, quite a challenge, you know, to, to compress everything in one sentence, but this is what came out. Thank you. Muchísimas gracias, Florian. Thank you very much, Florian. We didn't know that there was a second group, so thank you very much. Now over to you, sir. Thank you, uh, uh, Chairman. I thought I was rapporteur as well, but uh, look, I think Ed uh, put, it, put it pretty well uh, in the one sentence, but he was nearly finished before I had tuned into him. So the three main points that I took from it on the ecology side of it was that locals know best, so local people need to be involved uh, a lot more in, in the various programmes or schemes and support in the affirmative uh, in the sense that uh, rather than um, penalise the polluters, let's be seen as an EU to um, enhance the support for the um, nature enhancers. Uh, so, you know, to, to support the people that are working positively towards it and give authority to uh, the regenerative uh, practitioners and have them part of an EU set up as opposed to a member state's set up, um, that it would probably work better that way. And there was a documentary recommended by a lady who seemed to know uh, a lot about what she was talking about, and that was Kiss the Ground. And it's a, a documentary on the regenerative, regenerative farming and its potential. Thank you. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much. Thank you for these comments. No. I am the president and the moderator, but what you've said is what we said in Sharma Sheikh. It is extremely important and very positive that those who are causing the problems have to pay for the problems they're causing. Now we've come to the end part of our meeting. We have hardly any time left because I don't want to go beyond the time that the interpreters who um, have accorded us, they're doing a very good job. So after this brief conversation between Miki, Nina and Amelie, I think we can summarise the situation. You have the floor, ladies. Miki online. If Miki Elzenga could be online and speak, um, because Miki had sí, wanted sí. to speak this morning but wasn't able to. Sí, sí. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> I'm happy to be here and uh, I'm sorry I wasn't able to be at the start. Thank you, Nina, for taking over. Uh, yes, about this afternoon, I think we had a lot of uh, interesting speakers and uh, I want uh, Nina and Emily to make... Uh, to summarize what they think that are the next steps. Uh, thank you, Mieke. So basically, um, as we said before, this is an ongoing process. So what we want with the 10 theses is to trigger conversations. And you're invited to keep commenting in this Google Doc, which is online. We'll send you a follow-up mail also with the link. We, uh, together with the members and partners of ECODES, want to go into a co-creation phase next year where we will look at uh, a few of the topics deeper. This can be either the policy fields like food systems or energy systems, which are also packaged in the European Green Deal, or we make a ECOLIS proposition and focus on bioregions or localizations, and we will discuss that in a workshop in spring together with the Good Lobby, who is a cooperating partner. And um, Amelie, what's, what are our next steps apart from that? Yeah, um, I really like the idea that we once shared and that was also mentioned in our breakout room just now, that we use these 10 theses in order to then look at the local development strategies of the leader program and really see what can be done in each of these different dimensions in order to transform those strategies to be more sustainable. And I think considering that we really have a short window of opportunity for timely climate action, we also, besides talking, need to start to get into implementation. And I would call us to work together on this and building strong alliances for the implementation of the European Green Deal in a just way. Thank you. And basically, uh, th this is what we would like to say, um, considering the short time. Thank mm -hmm. you for the great moderation and thank you for the EESC for co-hosting this event with us. It was a pleasure to work uh, with you also. Thank you to everyone who was with us mm -hmm. for such a long time, although we overstretched your patience. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you to colleagues for sharing time with us. It's been very interesting. The, these are the civil society sessions, and they're a very democratic, consensuous um, forum. And it sometimes can be a struggle to uh, produce our opinions, but we managed to do it. And for us, implementations of policies such of such as the Green Deal, biodiversity, farm to fork, are very important. And at the moment, in this complex situation for Europe, with a difficult climate caused by the the raw materials crisis, the energy crisis, and the problems caused by Russian Russia's invasion of um, Ukraine mean that we are this are very much they're very important now in the cop we were present and many of us these strategies are going to be um worked on and i would like to once again thank everybody for sharing their time with us today and i know that Many people weren't able to join us today, but even so, I'd like to thank everybody. The extra half hour that the interpreters have accorded us, thank you very much for their excellent work, and thank you, everybody, for every for taking part today. Mm -hmm.